Dude, what is in this box I got? Holy shit. Hey guys, Matthew from TechShocked here. And today, we are taking a look at the E5P 1500 RC. Before we get into the review, I want to tell you the story about how I got this UPS and how Ian's customer support blew me away when I had troubles with it. When looking for a UPS on eBay, I came across this peculiar listing for an Ian 5P 1500 RC, listed as working but without any batteries coming with it. As a snappy labs enjoyer, I remember specifically his video about his own server rack and never buy a UPS new, buy a used and get your own batteries. Then down here at the bottom, we have the world's biggest scam, UPSs, Universal Power Supplies. Never buy these new, it's not worth it. The large majority of the value in these things is batteries. After looking up the price for new batteries for this particular model, I decided to pounce on this deal and purchase this unit. A couple of days later, I received in the mail a beat up looking box that had looked like it had been sitting in a warehouse for years. To my shock, when unboxing the unit, it turned out to be completely new in box with all the rack mounting hardware, cables, and even had batteries in it. I went to power on the UPS and that's when I realized there was a reason I was able to score this new in box Ian for so cheap. AVR temperature error, an error that requires the UPS to be serviced directly by Ian and is unrepairable. I was bummed to say the least, and getting ready to return to the eBay seller as this problem was not mentioned in the listing. But I decided to call Ian and see if they could fix the issue for me. The customer representative was very nice and they even offered to ship me the new UPS completely for free. And today we are here with this huge box and FedEx says it weighs 50 pounds. I'm going to unbox it and then go over how it's been running in my home lab for the week I've had it. These things are heavy. And there's no grip points because it's supposed to be put in a 19 inch rack. Come on, baby. This side's not heavy because there's no battery. Back. The Ian 5P 1500RC UPS provides 1500 volt amperes and 1100 watts of battery power. Eden provides graphs on their website for estimated runtime for the wattage of your lab. My home lab averages out to be 143 watts at idle and around 200 watts when I turn up the juice. Everyone's own use case is different, so I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out for yourself. A general rule of thumb I've seen from them on forum posts and Reddit is to try and stay under 50% total load to keep the batteries good as long as possible, but since these units do cost a lot of money, I would focus on getting all your devices some sort of runtime instead of focusing on balancing the UPS out, as long as you don't go over its maximum capacity. A UPS provides time for your servers and services to safely shut down in event of a power loss. Eden provides a data cable that can plug directly into a USB port on the computer to control the UPS while you use their software. Unraid, which is my main virtual machine host, has UPS settings that can signal to your UPS what to do in case of a power failure, such as shut the server off at a certain runtime percentage, and then also turn off the UPS after. If you want more control over the overall way your UPS interacts with your servers when the power goes down, or if you have multiple servers that you want to control and kind of mess with specific settings for, NUT, Network UPS Tools, is a great piece of software that gives a common protocol and tools to manage and monitor your UPS. Since I have multiple servers, that's what I intend on using to make sure everything will safely shut down. And I intend on making my own video on the subject and about NUT at a later date. But for now, I'll directly plug into my Threadripper server until I get that software up and running. This Eden UPS comes with an LCD screen that provides me with a lot of data points I can use to track wattage, battery life, efficiency, and much more to keep an overall track of how much power I'm using in my lab. Home labs can end up using a lot of power, and for many, it's become a big part of one's electricity bill if they intend on running the services they want to. So being able to track wattage and efficiency can help someone decide whether they need to keep a server on for 24-7 or not. The LCD screen also has many settings that you can adjust, allowing you to run automatic and manual battery tests to give you a head start warning on any issues that could lead you to degraded or dead batteries. Another peace of mind feature that can really save you from finding out that the one time your power went out, the UPS was unable to switch over to battery power. 
These settings allow you to vast control over output voltages, alarm warnings, and output group control. And the best part is, it even has its own screensaver, just like those bouncing DVD logos. Though, I never got to see mine hit the corner. One thing I've noticed as I've been running this UPS is the fan when charging up the batteries does run pretty loud. Thankfully, once the batteries were topped off, the noise level went completely silent, except the occasional buzzing. These UPSs aren't made to run completely quietly, so it's nice to see that Ian has put in the work to make sure while these UPSs are made for network and data center applications, they don't always blare fan noise. The UPS also has a noticeable hum to it when in use, but I believe this is due to being a pure sine wave power output, which is a plus if your home or business electricity output can be a little flaky. All in all, I cannot recommend this Ian UPS more than enough. Gone are the days of coming home to a simple power flicker or outage and finding my servers offline without properly being shut down. I would also definitely recommend that if you're searching for a UPS, to hunt through eBay and local listings like I did. So, now that we've gone over my UPS and its features, let me know about yours. Tell me what you think about this UPS and what your own UPS does for your lab. Thank you for watching the video and stopping by the channel. Did you like the content? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and give me some feedback down below. It's always greatly appreciated.